My musical journey has really brought me around the world many times. Um, I took my first trip to, uh, to India while I was still in college and I fell in love immediately with the, the people, the place, the culture and the music and uh, I was very fortunate to meet um, at that time uh, my Guruji Pandit Shantanu Bhattacharya and he, uh, he's an incredible vocalist and teacher that I spent uh, almost 10 years living uh, in the traditional Guru Shisha Parampara in his house just studying and learning music all day long.
My name is Zahir Abbas Jan Muhammad. Uh, I'm born and raised here in Canada, and I started learning this music actually in Calgary from a local teacher, and then uh, eventually moved to India in my in my teens, just between university years, um, where I met Ustad Zakir Hussain and uh, and my teacher Sri Prafal Atle. Um, and I've been studying this music with him ever since that time. My name is Pankaj Mishra. I'm a sarangi player. Uh, sarangi is like a pure Indian instrument. Once you have the knowledge, once you have uh, learned from your guru, uh, it will mix for sure. If we learn a little bit of Indian classical music, we can jump to any music. We'd now like to play for you a composition or a, a, a piece that's inspired by Rag Durga. Um, one of my fondest memories of living in Calcutta is uh, going to the Durga Puja, which is one of the largest festivals in the world. Um, and all of the communities come together to create um, bamboo pandals, uh, you know, makeshift temples for uh, for the goddess Durga. And, uh, and it's an incredible uh, incredible expression of devotion and artistry uh, and community and uh, and so we hope that this piece can uh, can maybe inspire those images and uh, and and bring uh, some of the the beauty of those things to life through music
We'd like to finish our performance with a piece that is inspired by many of the traditions that we all have deeply studied. Similarly, how we have all traveled around the world, there and back, uh, to India and other places. This piece is, uh, is inspired and set in Rag Bhairavi, uh, which is typically the Raga, which is used to finish a performance. Um, but what we'd like to do is play a piece of music that uh, John Coltrane, one of the great saxophone players, popularized, um, entitled Afro Blue, which is actually an Afro-Cuban piece. So we can imagine how music has migrated around the world with different peoples for different reasons. And we'd like to uh, take this piece as an opportunity, as a chance to explore uh, how, how we can put together different cultures, different influences uh, to create something new while while still um, you know deeply respecting and um, and appreciating the culture that it comes from. Um, so this is Afro Blue. We hope you enjoy. Thank you. Mm-hmm. 
I can do my best to to try to uh, explain or describe what a raga uh, is, but it's a very difficult question because each raga has its own essence, its own uh, you know feeling, sentiment. Uh, if you're listening to this music for the first time, the thing that is probably most important is to just be open and receptive, to listen to the sound and. Uh, and feel where the music takes you. What what journey does it take you on? The practice of raga music is really the spiritual practice of connecting to that. <laughs> 